finish the engines other than light blocking the back and uh, soldering the wires on but I painted everything with the black Steinol Res primer and five minute epoxy the LEDs in, inside these little housings so let me put some power to them here and engine lights and I think they're pretty much in, in scale they're not too bright they're not too uh, dim I like it. it came out good so now I can move on to the uh, cockpit I got the hole cut out for the canopy here where the pilot will go and some instrument panels so I have I have a little bit of space in here to, to work with as far as the bottom too so I need to get out my my strip styrene and start thinking about how I'm gonna put stuff in here to make it look you know like panels and stuff like that I mean it's not gonna be highly detailed but I need something to be able to uh, catch some edges when I dry brush everything on the inside so you at least see something going on in there and I still need to cut out the windows for the canopy so I'm gonna play with this a little bit more and then I'll come back windows are all drilled out of the cockpit sanded down I think they're pretty much done but once I prime it I'll get to see if there's uh, some places I missed to, and get in there with some sandpaper and smooth it out some more now it'll fit inside we'll pop right on and got some windows now to be able to see into the cockpit so now I need to pull some strip styrene and uh, start building up the cockpit just wanted to show you kind of where I'm at so far um, I've got a little front panel here and then I've just built up a bunch of little pieces of styrene for this back section just using different widths and then of course a channel um, channel strip here so I'll uh, I'll keep working on this and then when I get it done I'll show you what it looks like before I uh, prime it got the top part of the cockpit all built and put together also did some uh, work underneath here there's gonna be a, a piece that goes on top of here it'll have the seat and the pilot but I built this kind of wall around here so I can feed all my fiber optics around glue them down into the light source back here so everything will be contained and light blocked so now I'm going to go and uh, prime this piece so I can get a better look as to what it looks like got some gray Steinol Res primer on there and so now I can see the detail like I said it's not too complex or anything like that because you're not going to see a whole lot of it once you get the once you get the canopy on but uh, yeah, I think it's good to go so I'm going to go ahead and uh, prime all the rest of the parts then I'll come back everything's been sprayed with the Steinol Res gray primer now I'm going to spray everything with this model air aged white so I'll spray all the pieces and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like I just kind of put some of the pieces together they're not glued just so I can get an even coat but everything is sprayed now with the aged white so I need to let it dry because it's still tacky and then I'll be back the aged white is dried I uh, put the kit together it's not glued it's just put together and then I uh, stuck the pole in the hole here where the actual pole is going to go make it easier to paint so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this this model air white and I'm going to spray the entire model so hopefully with the aged white underneath that will stay in the cracks and the crevices and then the white will help separate that so I'll get some light and dark and it'll help accent some of the detail so I'm going to go paint that and then I'll come back I sprayed everything with white I also sprayed the engines so here's what it looks like with the white you might not be able to see it on camera too well 
but there are some subtle tonal changes in the the details in the crevices with that aged white so now I need to let this dry and then I can paint the cockpit and then I can start the wiring so I want to thank you guys for watching and thank you for subscribing and I'll see you for part three